He'll have committed, trying to pull a fast one. Once more, this the steepest part of this climb, and it'll continue to ramp up. The first 1,400 metres are absolutely cruel. And this uh, group is, and here comes Tullet. Tullet launches. It's Hershey that's got to respond. He knows he's the go-to man. He's not panicking the Swiss. The young Breton, Ben Tullet, goes for glory. Max Poole, third in line for the DSM squad, and uh, Egan Bernal refuses to resist. He's still there, thereabouts. Dina from ATT Investments is handily placed, but who's going to have the legs? It's actually Narvez that's continuing to, uh, to press on, on the tail of Max Poole. Egan Bernal a little bit further back at this point, but no doubt about it, Ineos Grenadiers go-to man. It's Ben Tullett going for glory, starting the day 12th overall at eight seconds. Well, whoever wins this stage with bonus seconds uh, on offer is going to quite certainly be the overall race leader. Egan Bernal slipping further back, but, uh, well, as I say, he's kind of latched on to that group. As, uh, they are being distanced here uh, by a wonderful effort from Ben Tullett. Here she is the one who's latched on here. Mark, Mark Hirschi of Switzerland and the U18 member of the squad. And Tullet pulling faces. Camera picks out Egan Bernal, who I think will be probably reasonably satisfied with the way the climb is going at the moment. Maybe as it's... Uh, dwindling, starting to suffer a little bit. Dina has uh, two also being distanced by Bernal, so Bernal's resistance here is quite impressive, and Tullet's cracked. Here she goes for glory. Still 1,300 metres to go, but the gradient will ease ever so slightly from now on. And Tullet is at sixes and sevens. He's in a world of hurt here, is Ben Tullet, because he knows there's a long way to go to the top of the climb. And Mark Hirschi is starting to put daylight between himself. And Tullet is uh, all over. I mean, he is absolutely at the end of his tether. It's such a steep climb. He's gone really, really deep, and he's not going to be able to recover. And Max Poole is going to overhaul him. But uh, Mark Hirschi is flying to glory here, unless something remarkable happens. Assembly in pursuit, Egan Bernal has moved up to become the lead rider. Well, very shortly, he's going to be the lead. Has, has Tullet managed to make it back up? Well, let's get a look at what's happening just in front. Here she is clear. Tullet's been joined by Max Poole, the second and third riders. And then you've got the Egan Bernal group, further delayed and further distanced. Bernal, Matteo Fabro, also in position, and a good job being done. Good resistance job done by Oscar Only after his efforts in the in the earlier break. Sylvain Monique is the lot of destiny rider who's now in pursuit of Max Poole and Ben Tullet, and they in turn are looking in the distance as Maya Kershi will be feeling ever confident. That little plateau there, I think stealing a little bit from the average gradient of the climb, and this little sector here is going to be well north of 6%, probably more like 8%. percent tell you what, it's a tougher climb than even the bare statistics describe it. They've uh, picked out a nice one. Every road out of this town pretty much goes upwards. And Mark Hershey, I think, can start to... Uh, to prepare his victory speech. It will take something remarkable to close down the Swiss rider now. 24-year-old from Bern within touching distance of the stage success in the Tour of Hungary. The riders behind starting to jockey for position. No one wants to take it up. Monique's done a bit of a turn. Only he's not going to chase his teammate. Fabro, no, I'm not so sure he has it. And meanwhile, Mark Hershey former winner of stages of Tour de France. He's won the Flesh of Alone. He's won a string of important victories. The under-23 World Road Race Championship being claimed for him. And this is going to be his first victory of the season as Mark Hershey working his way towards the line. Accepts the plaudits of the crowd. He's across the line. And finally, a brief clenched fist effort. That was wearying, but that was glorious for Mark Hershey. As uh, Jordan Narvez gets up for second, ahead of Max Poole, and Monique wins the battle of.